I think for me growing up in a fostering house was kind of why I ended up in the role of working within children's services and going into social work in general. Um, I just learned a lot about their experiences and sort of saw it from the other side and kind of wanted to be making that difference to children really. So my mum was a social worker, as is my sister, um, so it's always been within my family, um, but particularly the friends and family team I'm extremely passionate about. We're really keen on achieving permanence for our children within the family network because we know their outcomes are going to be so much better. We have lots of training um, available to us. We're certainly encouraged to develop ourselves personally and professionally. Lots of training for us to gain our master's degree, which I'm kind of partaking in at the moment. Lots of lunchtime sessions um, to recap on kind of safeguarding, neglect. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really kind of at the forefront of the council. There was a really strong ASYE programme. Lots of training, lots of support, protective caseloads. My manager particularly has been really proactive in making sure that I can engage in it. I've got a fantastic uh, line manager who is probably, I would argue, the most supportive manager that I've had in, in all of my working life. Primarily in the friends and family team, we assess family members to look after members of their family. We complete various assessments, um, special guardianship um, or foster care assessments, and we then support them um, right the way through to achieving permanence for the children. So within my team, we hold cases sort of from point A right the way through, which means we kind of get to be that person for that family from the start to the finish of our involvement which is really really nice because you get to actually see the outcome for the family and you get to kind of achieve that with them. For me personally um, the, the buzz is when you know you get a really good outcome and I've managed to get some really good outcomes for some of the some of the families and the children that I've worked with and, and that's why I do the job. My direct managers kind of sat within the teams and then even our service managers are so you can kind of just have that direct line of communication. The thing that I love most about my team is the informal support that comes with that. So actually coming back in from those difficult visits or those difficult conversations and having someone recognise it and say to you actually, do you know, do you want a cup of tea? Or let's just take a five minute walk and sort of sound it out is really, really valuable. Part of that comes from the way that we work. It's really, really nice. Everyone knows everyone. So from, from the director of children's services all the way through the organisation, actually people, people know you. It kind of makes it feel very much like a, like a family. The culture within Southampton is really unique. The shopping's great, uh, there's lots of places to eat. We have a staff portal and on that there are a wide range of kind of discounts from everything from shopping, eating, drinking, even things like hair salons, nail salons, spa treatments, so you can kind of get yourself care in. So I would definitely encourage people to come and work for Southampton City Council. I love this job and I absolutely would not do anything else. For me it's about seeing the positive outcomes that the families we work with achieve and knowing that we have empowered them to do that is really rewarding.